This is a, has been a very hard dry weather. And we have several systems across the country that have been experiencing, uh, you know, a very low water production, the wells. But we have been very proactive as a ministry. In fact, if you see the work that we are doing out there, we are responding to communities, uh, you know, across this country, from Toledo to the north to the west. We have been going in, we have been airlifting wells where we need to do that, flushing them out. Uh, where wells are running low, sometimes we have to go in and we have to, you know, extend the pipe deeper into the well. Uh, you know, where there is no water, we have actually taken in water via the water bowser that we have. We are across this country serving our people. Has there been any discussions with the Minister of uh, Logistics and Utility to see maybe how these, some of these... Um uh, some of these villages that don't have the necessary infrastructure to have B uh, BWS go in there get to get them that necessary infrastructure? Well, I will tell you, as a government, we continue to, to meet and to discuss. And certainly, uh, you know, for some of the communities where, you know, it's more problematic to find a good water source, uh, yes, there have been discussions to look at, you know, the possibility of, you know, uh, BWS going in, you know, to be able to deal with the situation. But it is an ongoing uh, discussion and process. I believe there is a drought everywhere. It's been extremely dry. And the truth of the matter is that, you know, as a country, as Belizeans, we have to be more conscious of how we use water, how we conserve water. Uh, the truth of the matter is that the effects of climate change are upon us. Uh, we are seeing that more and more the wells are drying up and we certainly have to be more strategic in terms of how we preserve, conserve water as a country.